all right guys sean here and today we are going to be talking about arcane stage magic of course this video is going to contain massive spoilers so you have been warned initially i was going to talk about this video separately because i actually have a series running in the channel that has to do with understanding magic types in black clover but because rax passed a challenge to the black clover community i decided to take up the challenge and talk about it first so in order for us to understand what arcane stage magic is we have to define it but then the definition is kind of broad and i believe tabata has not yet given us all the incentives we need to actually classify certain magic types as arcane stage magic but then he has already given us certain magic types that are of course confirmed to be arcane stage and characters such as asta sekri yami and william have arcane stage magic that is confirmed we can also add Zeno, dante and vanika to that to actually complete the arcane stage magic types that we know of of course dante and vanika's magic types have not yet been revealed but despite that fact they of course are arcane stage at best so in order for us to understand what arcane stage magic is we have to actually talk about the conditions to actually have access to arcane stage magic and certain reasons we believe could actually tie down certain magic types to arcane stage magic arcane stage by definition seems to be magic that cannot be explained rationally of course asta's anti-magic cannot be explained rationally but there are also some rare magic types that could directly influence or affect devils that include time and dark magic then again there are also magic types that have been influenced as a result of forbidden magic that is the change from sacred normal ceiling magic to forbidden ceiling magic or corrupted ceiling magic which now is our in stage so that in itself shows us a couple of conditions that could be used to classify certain magic types as arcane stage of course asta being tied to the devil itself is also one of the things that puts anti-magic at arcane stage level then we also saw that crossing paths with devils and fighting them could actually turn one's magic type to arcane stage as a result leaked and lumiere's magic types also became arcane after crossing paths with the devil so those are the arcane stage magic types we know and of course today we are going to be predicting who we believe have arcane stage magic types of course many of the other youtubers have already talked about certain characters and that's why i don't want to expand on their characters but there are a couple of characters i will talk about that they did talk about and try to give my own take on why i believe these guys could be arcane stage of course these are my opinions you are free to express your doubts and your thoughts on this subject as well in the comment section subscribe to the channel to become part of the blizzard screen as always hit the notification bell to get notified fight when i release future content that said let's get into this video all right guys first up i wanted to talk about dorothy on sword this character has a magic type that is quite unique because it doesn't seem tied to the four main elemental magic types and it's quite weird but it has actually showcased us a lot of potential as dorothy is able to create some sort of alternate dimension where she reigns supreme and it is interesting to note that dorothy has actually created the glamour world where she was able Able to talk to Noel about Megicula without actually having to face the effects of Megicula's curse cause Megicula seemed to have placed a curse in such a way that anyone who mentions or talks about his name gets cursed but in the glamour world it was unable to affect Noel and Dorothy so it's really interesting because if she can do this then I believe her magic in some ways could affect the devil and that's why I think that she has arcane stage magic now of course I think that another character we have not thought of is Geralt Poiseau and one of the reasons why I think Geralt has arcane stage magic is because when the Kodotama devil summoned the blob like mass which was about to destroy the shadow palace it was interesting to note that Geralt's magic which is permeation magic was unfazed by that despite the fact that he got his mana reserves chopped away little by little he still was unfazed by that but characters such as Yami saw their hands damaged when they came in contact with the blob like mass so I think that in some way is his permeation magic is just too broken to the point where it could actually affect the devil now i don't see his permeation magic being very good offensively but just imagine a scenario where he william julius yami asta and many characters are fighting against the triad and he's using his permeation magic to actually 
render them invisible making it possible for them to strike these guys here and there so his magic type is really good especially for support so i think that it is impressive enough to state that this character might actually be a holder of our king stage magic of course radius has been talked about i think he is one as well and i also think charlotte to an extent but since we don't know who cursed her and the relationship between her and the person so i don't think we can actually say 100 percent that this was the curse of a devil and as a result she might have had hurricane stage or has hurricane stage to an extent i would go as far as stating that as silver had a hurricane stage magic because she was cursed by megicula lolo pechica as well might actually have her water magic upgraded to hurricane stage because despite the fact that she's already tier zero because of the fact she wields on then it's still possible that her water magic can actually be upgraded to hurricane stage level because of the fact that she's cursed and has been influenced by magic from the other world so that's that said i think that another character we might have to you know think about is morris now morris is one of those characters that has not yet been introduced but the fact that he was the scientific genius behind the creation of masses and fanas composite grimoire makes me believe that this guy actually has a lot of knowledge not only about grimoires and magic types but also about ancient knowledge and one of the reasons why i think that is the case is because the diamond kingdom was introduced as a kingdom of scholars so it means that they might actually have a grand library and that library might actually have a lot of details regarding ancient times and as a result could actually have his magic type changed to arcane stage then again he has not yet been revealed so it's possible that this is just a guess last but not the least i have langris and one of the reasons why i think is the fact that his magic type is quite weird first because it's spatial magic but it's not your normal spatial magic type it's offensive spatial magic and the manner in which we used it made it even more broken but that's not the reason why i think it's arcane stage langris was one of the first people to have wicked heart activate especially since he was fighting against finral and in that battle it seems as if wicked heart amplified his feelings to the point where he was willing to kill finral then again, one of the things that I think was striking about this fight is the fact that Wicked Heart activated only after the full reincarnation but in Languis's case it was a partial reincarnation and he already had the effects of Wicked Heart. So in some ways I think this effect which was from a forbidden magic spell could have affected his partial magic in a way that it's become an upgraded form of the special magic type thus an arcane stage partial magic. One of the reasons why Tabata also pulled Languis out of the situation with regarding Zeno's attack on the Golden Dawn was because his magic type could also have affected Zeno's devil in one way or another so those are the characters I believe could potentially have arcane stage magic. I also think the witch queen could potentially have it because she was easily able to take care of Asta's curse and Asta got that curse from Vero who at that point was using the demon language so it's important to note that because she was effortlessly able to do this so in one way or another her magic type was able to directly influence the curse which was from a spell which actually had ties to the other world so her magic was able to affect the other world in this case and that's why i believe that she too is an arcane stage mage so those are my thoughts let me know yours in the comment section subscribe to come back to the blizzard queen as always i'll catch you guys later bye